What up, folks? I'm UltraZell, and today I have a review of the Transformers Comic Edition Shockwave, but one of the most iconic covers ever to Transformers. This, the Transformers Are All Dead cover with Shockwave on it, is like one of the best comic book covers, period. Absolutely love it that they recreated it here. You got another shot of Shockwave there. You got Shockwave here on the back in all his glory with the head of Optimus. You'd have to read the series to understand. Uh, but yeah, you got more comic stuff on the side and on the top. Yeah, Shockwave. Uh, and then you open it up. You got more things. <laughs> got the head of Optimus there. Uh, and then you got Shockwave here in a open window. Pretty cool, the head of Optimus is in there. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, but this is a pretty, pretty cool package. Uh, you've seen me uh, review the uh, Grimlock in this line. So without any further ado, let's get to this review. But before we uh, get to the uh, figure, here are the two boxes of the two figures together. As you can see, it creates one image though. There is one more part to this. It is a uh, very little known character outside of the comics named Straxus that um, I, I didn't get. I, I missed out on a pre-order as well. And then they went back and then I missed out on it again. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get it. Um, like no part of him appears here. So I think we're safe <laughs> with keeping it here. Uh, but just to show you, I mean, Shockwave does appear on the back of uh, this box here. Uh, which is pretty cool, pretty cool indeed, and, and no Straxes to be found here at all. But if we do look on this side of the box, we have like more of the comic stuff going on, with the head, with the uh, Dinobots uh, trying to rescue Optimus's head. I don't really remember the comic at all. You guys can let me know down below. But yeah, again, uh, from what I can tell, n no Straxes here, so I think we're safe. And here is a Shockwave out of the package. But before we talk about him, um, let's uh, look at what else we have here. We have a runner uh, with these little thingies here that's like a little stand for the head <laughs> or whatever it is, you know, uh, which is going to go into these. So I'm going to do this off camera and get this head set. And here's the whole head of Optimus stand. Me, Grimlock, think this is crazy. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like the gold. I like this thing though. You got some of that comic styled uh, Zipatone, which is awesome. I love that they've included that on these. I said that during the Grimlock review. But yeah, you got this like wiring over here that goes into the head. And then you got these things, which you do have to be careful with. Um, there's a little nub that you shouldn't cut off because it fits in better. So do be careful. Uh, with that. I mean, even so, like when you're cutting it, the plastic kind of warps a little bit. But I was able to get everything uh, properly squared away. And uh, the head is pretty cool. It's got yellow eyes. It is a comic styled head. The, um, you know, the head looks good. I mean, the silver part up here, the mask part looks pretty good. You see more nose on this one, which is very different uh, from like the standard head um, that we've gotten with like a lot of the Optimus Primes. Um, this being, I don't remember which one, Walmart one? I, I don't know. I don't think I ever reviewed this one, honestly. It's a good one. Uh, but hey, you know, if you were curious, you can use uh, this head. Um, yeah, you, you need to <laughs> take this off. But you can use it. It's a different sort of peg, but it goes in to, to the ball joint perfectly. So, yeah, totally uh, able to use this one. Now, of course, like, you know, the blue is a different color on this one. Uh, I'm sure there was versions of this uh, where the color is a little bit less dark. And I'm pretty sure I have some Siege, I don't know, other ones, Kingdom... There's been so many of these guys, right? So, uh, but yeah, it does fit on this body pretty perfectly and you can make yourself a comic style Optimus. I feel like that's kind of the point. To show it on another one here, it is on uh, the uh, Siege. Um, is it Siege? 
Anywho, War Cybertron. Uh, this is the premium color version. It's not the same color either, but I mean, uh, again, it fits. You know what? Our trusty Optimus Prime was the one I was thinking of. Um, he's been transformed <laughs> like this for so long. Um, this one's probably the closest, and it's not really the same. So, you know, I, this is what I was thinking of, but it's still not the same. So, on to Shockwave. Now, this is a uh, repaint of the Siege Shockwave that had all that crazy, like, extra armor stuff. I have that one. I've never reviewed it. Um, yeah, theme here, right? Um, it, but I don't have it handy anymore. Like, it is, not anymore, but like, I just don't have it handy because it is buried. I know where it is, but it, it is buried in like a, like a, like a draw <laughs> that's in my storage closet, which is jam-packed full of stuff. So I'll never be able to get to, uh, in time for this review at least. Um, but yeah, I never reviewed that one, so I was really looking forward to getting this guy again and kind of starting fresh. I do like the comic book styling once again. It looks awesome. But like, let's start at the feet, because you got nice little silver toes, which look awesome, and the heel spurs. Very, very nicely done. Uh, in the front here, you have black. You have the zip -a tone again. It looks awesome. It just does. And it looks really, really sharp on the purple. And so does the black. So I really dig it. There's a really nice sculpt here throughout. You got more of that styling here on the back, which is excellent. Beautiful sculpt, really. <laughs> this is really, really nice. Now, it's funny because you got more black here, but it's getting lost behind this thing. I guess we'll see it in alt mode. The legs here... Don't have anything, but they have very, very nice sculpt work. So that is cool. On his back, he's got a nice old backpack, but it's nice and compact. And you do have the edges all black like that. Beautiful. Very, very nicely done. On the arms here, you see uh, the black again, the black shading, which is done really coolly. I like it. Uh, I want to know who designed it like this. I, I think it looks good. The hands are pink. And I like that. <laughs> the You know, this part is pink, too. And I like that. And again, uh, we have the paint here, which looks awesome. It's different than on this side, which is even better. Um, then up here, you have uh, that zip tone again. Same thing on the shoulder there. Do we have it on the back of the shoulder? No, we don't. That's what the back of the arms look like. Again, a lot of nice molded detail. You can use this as a, like, jetpack. Uh, which looks cool. Then you uh, have the tubing, which also has sculpt work. I mean, it's rare when you see that. Uh, and it's done very well. So kudos. That looks amazing. Um, again, this arm looks fantastic throughout. Then the Krajizi section is totally fine. We have um, some of that shading at the belly, which looks really good. Underneath here, which looks excellent. It's like a nice glossy black, isn't it? It's really good looking. And then the chest is awesome because you have the white and then the black on it. And that is so comic book. I love the lines. Man, and the line work is fantastic there. You have more of the zip -a tone there, which looks awesome. It blends with the um, Decepticon symbol, which is very light. Uh, but I dig it. And another patch of black there. It's very well done. Very well thought out, in my opinion. You have more of the zip tone back here, which does add a neat effect to the head. Then the face is half blacked on top, which shading would do. Again, the thought uh, involved here is fantastic. Kudos. The yellow looks awesome for his all-seeing eye. Uh, and then uh, the silver ears also have black shading on one side at least, which makes sense. Um, it's really good. It's really good. This is what the top looks like. We got black there, white, and yeah, guys. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous, honestly. Um, this looks so good. Yeah, I'm smitten. Um, it's funny because, you know, like, of the two, I was more looking forward to Grimlock, but I knew I really wanted this one, too, because I thought it just looked awesome, and I really liked Shockwave. And I knew I already liked this mold, but I thought, man, 
this looks way better than the one I already had. Um, yeah, and it is. It is. This is awesome. I mean, I, I, I think, like, if they make my best of the year, and I think they will, I think I have to put, you know, Grimlock and Shockwave together because they're both so good uh, and they look so awesome and they're definitely, like, you know, they go together. Like, you saw the boxes and everything. Uh, again, I'm not, you know, looking to get Straxus. Um, so, yeah, this is awesome. This is such a good uh, second part uh, to, uh, even though it came out first, to uh, this little comic book homage. And a quick note before we move on to the articulation. Um, this, you know, tubing actually could come out and you could put it, like, in the back if you want. I know it's probably a little bit better in the back in a lot of ways. Uh, but... Should you not want it there, you could even put it back here, uh, or even back here, like up here. <laughs> you know, like th th there's uh, spots you uh, you can move it to, should you wish. And then of course we got some articulation to look at. The head moves really, really well for a Transformer, especially since you can't really look in too much. But look at the side to side on this guy. It's pretty awesome. So very, very nice. Swivel at the waist. The arm goes up like that, which is cool. And then the swivel's there, you got the bicep swivel, you have a single jointed elbow, you have the wrist swivel, the legs should do a full split, and they do. Goes forward, goes back. You hear that? Yes. It's it's pretty good. Then ratchet at the knees as well. Swivel there. And then uh, the feet do rock. They don't go much back and forth though, but they do rock, so... Uh, not bad. Not bad. I think this guy is pretty good. He feels pretty awesome. He's solid. Um, yeah, there's no looseness here at all. Um, and that is appreciated. So yeah, this, this guy looks... Look at that hand. This guy looks phenomenal. I love this. I absolutely love this. And for your size comparisons, first up, uh, let's do a little Megatron and Optimus action here. They go well here with uh, Shockwave, who's a little bit shorter. That's not that bad, though. That's not that bad. I, I feel like because they were all sort of around the same time, the original ones of these, th this this is original Siege uh, Megatron. But again, this was the premium uh, one, premium paint, whatever it was called. Um, from the Kara of uh, the Optimus. But yeah, they, they go uh, well together. And here's Shockwave defending his uh, Optimus head of, from uh, Grimlock. So you can see, yet yeah, really, really big size difference. But man, they are so cool together with all that cool uh, black lining. And with that all said, there's only one thing left to do, and that's transform and roll out. Affirmative. And here it is, the odd uh, starship shockwave uh, with faux shockwave head as the bridge, which I love. I, I really do. Um, you, you get other shockwave head right in there if you look carefully. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, it, I don't know. It, it It's weird. I like this. <laughs> it's so silly, but I do like this. Um, you know, there's something, it, it does look like a weird Transformers starship. Uh, you know, I like Shockwave as as his weird ray gun, but I feel like this actually really works uh, for the character uh, being this starship. Like, seriously, I, I do like it. You got this front that's just black, which looks really good. I mean, again, you got all of the cool uh, motif here. You got this little landing pad thing, which helps it sit, like so. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, again, the striping looks good. <laughs> striping. Uh, but the little thing here, the tube, looks pretty good on the side there. Um, not sure why a big ship would have a tube like that, but 
got to do something with it. You got a lot of nice molded detail on the bottom. So that's pretty good. Uh, thrusters, right? Sure, faux, faux thrusters that move. Wait, these move? Did I get this in the articulation section? Did I do an articulation section? I don't remember. Uh, but, you know, that looks pretty good. Um, that feels pretty good. So a lot of nice molded detail on uh, Shockwave, as you can see. And then it really comes through in this mode even more. Um, I don't know why, but it does. I really like this bridge. It, it looks pretty cool with like little wings. It's very nice, very Gundam in a way. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, this 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 kind of rocks. I gotta say, like I definitely never transformed the other one I had, so uh, I am definitely digging this. And for our size comparison, because he's a bad guy, how about a little bit of our not so trusty Nemesis Prime? And my final thoughts, this is awesome. I really love this. Um, I think they did such a good job uh, with this Shockwave. Like, I love that it's just Shockwave. There's no extras like the original version uh, came. It's just really good. Well, there is the head. <laughs> but I mean that like the Optimus Prime head. But that's like something different, you know? Um, that's just an accessory. This on its own just looks fantastic. I love the comic book style. It just works so well. And you know, throughout this uh, review, I kept saying that there's, uh, you know, just Strax is saying, yeah, but I forgot about that two-pack, that Marvel UK two-pack, um, that I probably won't get either, although they look kind of cool. Uh, but, yeah, this, Grimlock, I think I'm good with these, uh, and I really like them, so there you go. <laughs> We're good. We're good with the comic book uh, styling ones um, that I really wanted, you know? Uh, the other ones are just obscure characters that I don't really need or love. I have like no like, you know, nostalgia for them. So, but yeah, these are awesome. This in particular is absolutely fantastic. I love it in both modes. The transformation, I didn't really mention it, but it was real easy. Uh, as you can imagine, there's not much to this, but I love the goofy, you know, Cybertronian spaceship. It looks really good. It makes sense. I love the giant uh, shockwave uh, bridge head. It just looks stupid, <laughs> but awesome, you know? Um, so yeah, this is a really great figure, and there you have it, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go and sub yourself for daily content, and let me help you diversify your collection, obviously, with some Transformers. Till next time, peace out, peace.